a very good morning my dear family members please like share and subscribe my dear friends by clicking the like share and subscribe buttons we proclaim praise worship and glorify the triune god the father the son and the holy spirit i pray that the triune god will embrace the entire world peace joy and healing may be felt by everyone today's catholic mass readings and reflections may 22 2023 monday of the 7th week of easter first reading a reading from the acts of the apostles chapter 19 verses 1 to 8 and it came to pass while apollo was at corinth that paul having passed through the interior of the country came to ephesus and found certain disciples and he said to them have you received the holy spirit since you believed but they said to him we have never even heard that there is a holy spirit and he said in what then were you baptized who said in john's baptism then paul said john baptized the people with the baptism of penance saying that they should believe in him who was to come after him that is to say in jesus having heard these things they were baptized in the name of the lord jesus and when paul had imposed his hands on them the holy spirit came upon them and they spoke with the tongues and prophesied and all the men were about 12 and entering into the synagogue he spoke boldly for the space of 3 months disputing and arguing persuasively concerning the kingdom of god the word of the lord thanks be to god response real psalm your response sing to god o kingdoms of the earth god arises his enemies are scattered and those who hate him flee before him as a smoke is driven away so are they driven as wax melts before the fire your response sing to god o kingdoms of the earth but the just rejoice and exult before god they are glad and rejoice sing to god chant praise to his name whose name is the lord your response sing to god o kingdoms of the earth the father of orphans and the defender of widows is god in his holy dwelling god gives a home to the forsaken he leads forth prisoners to prosperity your response sing to god o kingdoms of the earth the acclamation alleluia alleluia if then you were raised with christ seek what is above where christ is seated at the right hand of god alleluia alleluia gospel a reading from the holy gospel according to john chapter 16 verses 29 to 33 the disciples said to jesus now you are speaking plainly and not in proverbs now we know that you know everything and that you do not need to have any one question you by this we believe that you came forth from god jesus answered them do you know believe behold the hour comes and it has now come 
that you shall be scattered every man to his own and shall leave me alone. And yet I am not alone because the Father is with me. These things I have spoken to you that in me you may have peace. In the world you shall have distress, but have confidence. I have overcome the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Have faith and experience peace. Today's reflection on the readings. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. In today's Gospel reading, we find that the disciples proclaim their faith in Jesus. But we find again these same disciples will scatter when Jesus is arrested and crucified. Yet he never despairs of them. Dear friends, at times we too are the same with the Lord Jesus and with our neighbors. When everything seems to be good, we are friendly with others and we proclaim our faith in Jesus. But when we face opposition and rejection, it is hard to keep faith in Jesus. And when our neighbors are in difficulty, we try to leave them. Dear friends, in such moments, our Lord is reminding us through today's gospel reading to hold our hands and hearts together and pray, to give us courage and peace and to watch over us and our neighbors in our moments of struggle. Take courage. I have conquered the world. We listen to these words of Jesus who is telling us as he told so many people during his lifetime, do not be afraid. Today, Jesus is reassuring us that no matter what is happening, he is in control and will always overcome. My dear family of Mother Mary's protection, let us talk to Jesus about our fears, difficulties and pains, whatever they may be. And we ask him to give us faith in his power to overcome all of them. Prayer. Lord, help us to trust in your saving power, especially when we meet adversities and trials. Give us your peace when we are troubled and let us know the joy of your victory over sin and death. Grant us the grace to be forever beginning forever becoming and trammeled by my past failures, always open to growth and change. We ask all these things through the intercession of Mary, the mother of Jesus, and in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit. One God, forever and ever. Amen. My dear friends, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. God bless you.